I've been a fan to Call of Duty for since my whole life and being excited for every Call of Duty title that releases and reveal trailers, they're really exciting to see as a Call of Duty fan. But something hit different when Modern Warfare came out and it really hit the stun for me. The good old Captain Price. It's good to be back. Bravo 6. Going dark. Call of Duty Modern Warfare was a fresh reboot to Call of Duty and it delivered on its own level Based on real life events and real life locations, this game was like, this was some next level stuff you would see on the news. The opening scene from Modern Warfare is the terrorist group, which is lead by the wolf, and he is the main villain of this game. We fight to remove all foreign power from our soil. We are Al Qatala. Wait, hold up. I didn't know Snoop Dogg was in this game. As this next scene rolls in, we have soldiers and a vehicle preparing for this ultimate scene. That's going to surprise all of us in a shock. And I can't believe Modern Warfare went this far in this scene. And it's just crazy how these guys just did this. And this happens in today's society, which is the scariest part of the scene. <laughs> What the hell, Verdansk? Where are we dropping, boys? Who's this sexy man on my screen? This is one of the main characters in Modern Warfare, which is Alex. All I gotta say is the cutscenes in Modern Warfare are absolutely crazy. The, the graphics and the detail in these cutscenes are just absolutely insane, and it looks really incredible. Our next mission here is to target this gas and take out enemies. As we enter the first mission of Modern Warfare, we have Fog of War. This is probably one of the coolest missions in the game because you can really see the atmosphere and this and the detail in the trees and this feels really real like you're inside of the game. And it's you get a crazy environment feel once you play this and the graphics look really intense and vibrant. As we move into the forest, we get to take out our first enemies. Down. We're clear. Copy. We take out our spotter scope. We scout out the area to make sure there's no Russians around. And we have a little surprise. Echo 3-1. Good effect on target. As we move in to the forest, we see the destruction of the bomb we just released on the facility. And it just soak in badass graphics in the background and the environment, how good the graphics are. I can imagine this in 4K. This would look absolutely insane. And this is also on the new engine, so this is why this looks so good. <laughs> We see enemy soldiers struggling to survive after the missiles have dropped on the facility. My favorite part about the Modern Warfare campaign story is where when someone gets shot or a soldier, they actually get dragged into cover other than just, you know, dying. My favorite parts of the Modern Warfare campaign, your allies actually have conversations between allies other than it being just quiet and awkward. Gas must be inside. Unless we're too late. Clear! Clear! We put our gas mask on, lights turn off, last lights turn on, and we turn the power back on. We have acquired the gas. Now it's time to regroup and get the hell out of here. We make our way back outside, and you know they're not going to make this easy at all. This mysterious car starts rolling down the hill with no brakes, and this happens. And these guys are not trying to take down Americans. And of course, they drive off with our gas. Echo 3-1 to Watcher. Alex, what happened? <sighs> Terrorist attack. Multiple Marines KIA. Gas stolen. We need evac now. Roger. Tracking multiple Russian forces headed your way. Sit tight. We're pushing to you for fast exfil. Watch her out. Norris is not happy with this situation at all. Respect the general. She needs a word with us about the situation that just happened. All the pressure is on Naswal, as the general is not happy with us. Let's fucking go. The return of Captain Price. My favorite part in Modern Warfare, the cutscenes will transition into gameplay, which is awesome. Now, we officially arrived at Piccadilly trying to stop a terrorist attack. They set off the explosions inside the vehicle and turns this street into a 
a war zone of chaos of destruction. Pay attention to the, how deep detail the fire is. It looks insane and it's going up in flames and the smoke around it. It looks very awesome. This is the most challenging thing in video games. Trying to shoot enemies and try not to shoot civilians on the way. Only some games can actually maintain this realism, especially as Rainbow Six Siege. You cannot shoot other teammates. It will result in a penalty. This game gets so real that you'll come across a terrorist holding hostage against civilians and if you don't shoot the terrorist fast enough, the terrorist will kill civilians. Modern Warfare does a really good job of trying to really express your feelings and emotions in this mission. Also, Modern Warfare did a good job at other things happening while the story is continuing through the mission. As you see, civilians are running away from the explosions and actually having interactions with what is going on actually in that mission. Other than just having random people in the mission that just don't really get phased by what's happening into the gameplay. It really lets you soak in the environment and how other people react inside the gameplay other than just, wow, that dude didn't even do anything. There's no reaction to him. And I look down this stairs into the pathway and these guys are just, are just you know, scared for their life. As we push this debris out of the doorway and we get engaged with another guy with a knife, we have someone that surprises us with a little help, Captain Price. His beard is so good looking, I wish I could have it. As Captain Price leads us into this building, wait a minute, what what the fuck is that? Is that a bomb vest strapped to his chest? What the hell? We come across a civilian that has a bomb stuck to his chest with a timer on it. I and mean, we have no time to fuck around at this moment. Oh, what? Open! I know. I want to see. Can you help? I'm trying. Let me see my girl. It's going off. I can't get it. No time! Cover! Cover! Wait! What are you doing? No! No! Whoa, that part gave me the hibby-jibbies. I can't believe Price had the guts to throw that guy over the ledge. I guess that's why they call him Captain Price. After the aftermath, Cow goes to talk to Price. He wasn't too happy about it. This shouldn't have happened in the first place, sir. They sent us in half fast. So everyone can just keep pretending we're all war. Yeah, like the fucking century, that is. Why have we got our hands tied? Let's just take the bloody gloves off and fight. The conversation between Kyle and Price is truly unbelievable. You can really express their feelings through their face emotions and how they're talking. And it's really, really awesome to see how body language reacts to all this. And it's really devastating. In this next scene, we switch over to Alex. He's looking for help from Kareem. She is the leader of the militia group and her brother, Adur. Kareem explains the occupation needs to end. We locate the map, we set our destinations, and we go and fight. If you stay, we can help you. But if you stay, you fight. Follow me. Now it's time to go undercover. We put our mask on, put our gun away. Now it's time to go outside and show them away. So this mission is really unique in Modern Warfare. This is one of those missions where you really have to do what you're supposed to do or you're just gonna get shot and killed. And that's basically what is going on here. As we push through with our brick, watching other civilians, you know, rebuild this area, we see Karim assassinate someone. I don't know how they didn't see that. And then she takes someone else out in front of us. Now it's our turn. Surprise, motherfucker. And this next part really surprised me. We went to a motorcycle and used a oil filter and put it on our gun as a silencer. What? In this next scene, it can be really disturbing. So close your eyes. Um, in this next scene, it's really, really crazy to see this in a video game. We have a civilians getting hanged by a crane by the Russians. And this is really disturbing to viewers. And this is crazy how they put this into Mono Warfare campaign. As we take down more soldiers, we set explosives and helicopters and we watch them go boom. Now it's time to escape this hell. We hide under vehicles to make a diversion so they don't see us. We came across a yard with dead bodies as Russian soldiers rush this area to make sure everybody's dead and we have to play dead. Keep your head still. Ooh, that definitely gave me anxiety right there. 
And now it's finally take our pistol out and execute the Russian soldiers right in front of us. And what a surprise, we actually made it out alive. In the next scene here, we go into a drone with an explosive attached to it. No way, that sounds really awesome. We use this drone with an explosive and we use it to blow up helicopters. I guess we didn't need missiles all along. We keep fighting to take back our country and then we pull out this nasty sniper to pull out some phase quick scopes. Oh yeah, baby, I'm ready. We approach this cargo container with the Russians inside of it, but the only way in there is up. So, Plader helps us up there and we breach our way inside of there and we take all the enemies out. I think there's too many reinforcements. We have a tank out here. We need more reinforcements. What can we use? I know what we can use. Enemy AC 130 above! As that's over, we get a little cutscene here to celebrate our victory against that little war we had. And Hector says you like killing Russians, and Axe says only the bad ones. So you do kill Russians. Only the bad ones. So this next mission is probably the most realistic mission in Modern Warfare. We use these pliers to open this gate with a lock on it. We use this ladder to get on the top floor and we could have just used stairs, jeez. As we quietly move into this house and we kind of take, we overhear these civilians talking about their plan. Well, we know I do. But this operation failed, so it why did are we not doing fail. this? Your dead brothers made sure of that. We were supposed to have double the body count. It's all over the flipping telly. That's the point. This is the United Kingdom. Do you think anyone will say that? Secure. Alpha free. Injury to the front door. We quietly move up the stairs. Bravo 6 going dark. This part right here is just insane because as you're pushing through this house, through the upstairs, and you see multiple rooms, as your team will push different rooms as you're just looking around, and it's just crazy to see them shooting as long as they're moving through and navigating through these rooms, and it's really, it's quite real how this plays out. One of our own soldiers gets shot through the door, which was a dramatic moment for me, and it was really intense. You have these moments where these bad guys would just push the rest of the door open and just scare the hell out of you and just start shooting you like crazy. Like, it's how dramatic this mission feels and it feels really real then this part where your teammate got shot through the door and it's showing him getting dragged through the hallway to safety as we enter the last floor of this house this part got really crazy as you're entering up on the stairs you would hear a baby crying which is absolutely crazy and i did not have options to even hurt it or anything i'm not going to do that I don't know if you had the options to even do that but that's kind of crazy how you have the option to do that in this game which is terrifying and it's like even though it's a video game if you're in this moment it's like it's crazy to feel this emotion and hear the baby crying in this situation i can imagine what the baby is feeling right now after hearing all the gunfire and this is all the commotion going on in this house which is crazy we got to this one scene where we were breaching this door captain price pulled out his little sledge thingy crowbar and he just, you know, he got that door open and we entered this room and this girl was just like, you know, like, don't kill me, do anything, don't try to do anything to hurt me. And she tried to pull a quick win and pull the weapon and got the price, you know, did the little thingy thingy. We have found the detonator and last of all, we know where the wolf is. Oh, fucking hell. She was going for a bloody detonator. Good job we dropped it in. We made the right call, sir. We'll bet your house. We've got a location on the wolf. I swear, man, every time I play a Call of Duty campaign or some kind of Modern Warfare campaign, it just feels like a freaking movie. Because these cutscenes look so good. As we move into the next mission here, as we're taking cover behind this truck, we can actually throw a smoke grenade in front of us, and it's going to... So we can make this diversion on these guys in these buildings. There comes a point where you can actually defuse trip mines on stairs or whatever location it's at. Oh, hell yeah, we get to use this tank as cover. Let's go. We have to push this hospital with trip mines and tons of enemies and we have spotted the wolf now it's time to sneak behind his ass and capture his ass Clear. we got you brother man you're all right you good alex good griggs omar Suleiman, you are now in custody of special operations force do exactly as you're told with your dead man Hell yeah. All demon teams, Marines are secure. Wolf is in the bag. 
Let's move him. It's not like my warfare can get any crazier with these cutscenes, you know, it just recaptured the warp now and he's gonna try something to uh, probably escape, we already know that. It's you know, part how the game goes. Now that we have captured a wolf, now we need to get answers. Three minutes. In three minutes, my people will be inside. They will kill all of you. <laughs> I chose to take you alive. I could still change my mind. You have the wrong man. Lies. Tell them what you've done. We did not steal the gas. Who did? Someone very dangerous. Where is it? I wish I knew. The butcher is outside. They'll burn the city if they have to. Save yourself, daughter. Join us. Do not talk to her. Hey, tap the brakes. I am not your child, old man. I lead soldiers. You train killers. But we are all killers here, no? Since we have captured the wolf trying to get answers and who stole the gas, you know, we overlook the hospital, the building where they're at, and we see all the riots going down there, which is absolutely crazy. As I said, this happens in real life, and these real events are just crazy to me how this is actually put into this game, and it's just total chaos. And the helicopter we're in, the helicopter gets shut down and we're spinning in circles trying to save our lives. And we actually grab that rope in front of us and we land on the roof, which is actually, this was a pretty badass cutscene. And seeing this as a first person perspective, it was pretty awesome. Huh, Price has his hat off. At a certain moment, we had to use these security cameras inside of this office building to guide a civilian through this massacre of enemies without getting shot or being killed, which was a pretty realistic moment in the gameplay. Which was really awesome, so. <laughs> End of fucking course. We put Wolf in a cell and he actually escaped. Who clip? He's gone. They breached the wall. Fucking hell. They got him, Captain. We will find him. Hadir, get your team to the crossroads. Bring everything you've got. Yes, sister. What's the plan for her? We end up showing up at the desert and we told a little joke. Before the war, this village had families and laughter. Laughter is the best medicine. Tell me a joke. What happens when the CIA goes to sleep? What? They go undercover. <laughs> Not bad. Probably better in English. You told it in English. Hader gives us a badass sniper and hell yeah, we're gonna fucking use this thing. Let's do this. So basically this mission is just using a sniper before they try to get to our territory. It's kind of like a defense thing. We just try to shoot as much stuff at, with a sniper as we can. At this part of the game, it felt like I was playing like survival mode because I was just trying to defend our little location we had here. And it was pretty crazy. I was using my... AK-47 just spraying everybody down and it felt like a little defense and survival mode type of thing going on. And we had to push this truck with toxic gas in it. We pushed it down the hill. How could you do this? We had no choice, Bara. All bets are off now. No. Not like this. years ago we were playing as a little kid we take a rock and we hit the metal against it to get everyone's attention so we can have help through being mushed under the rocks our dad helps us to escape and we have another surprise winning at the door we try to take this guy down and we have a screwdriver we stab him one last time and we take this guy down we take his ak and we shoot him and we try to escape but it does not go as planned So you 
are the little devils that killed my soldiers. Now it's time to go dark. This mission right here with night vision and taking down enemies and pushing a building, this just brings Modern Warfare to the next level. Pushing a dark tunnel with trip mines everywhere. It's hard to see in this goddamn place. Especially this part, it actually gave me intense anxiety because you have to cut a certain wire out of color and if you don't do it at the exact time that she says, it's gonna go off and kill you. Drowning in water, making choices through dialogue and death. <laughs> Using a spoon to escape the jail cells and using it as their advantage. And also using the environment to open up the jail cells, which is mind blowing. Taking a secret pathway through under the floor. And we killed an enemy with a spoon. What are we, John Wick? Sure. Holy shit, that was brutal. The good thing is we got to grab a weapon and escape, but we got in trouble at the end here, but someone saved us. Who's Commander Karim? I'm Karim. We got your message. That's challenge your price. Where are the others? In there. Right Stay close. And we saved our brother. <laughs> Sister. Dear, it's okay. Again. In this next mission, we hunt down and chase the butcher. It becomes a chase and we end up capturing him inside of a van. We get to pull out our LMG and spray and pray as we take off in the van. This guy is beating the shit out of the butcher. Ooh, a revolver on this stool. Let me go ahead and take this real quick. Don't make me fucking shoot you. Don't make me shoot you. I will pull the trigger. Huh, I made you jump, motherfucker. All right, you want to keep talking shit? I'll grab a real bullet. I got a real bullet. I'm going to shoot it. Psych. And we have another night vision goggle mission. The fact that we can use the dark and the light and the night vision goggles, that is our advantage. We were passing this group of enemies, and I was like, how do they not see me? And I took my night vision goggles off, and I was like, oh yeah, it's it's literally pitch black. They can't see us. So you can literally take advantage of the dark and the light, and it's it's freaking awesome. And this next scene explains everything. Four, five, one, seven, one, one. Go. Where's Marco? He's not here. His family was here. Are you protecting him? No, we're taking you. Come. Wait, I'm not your enemy. I know where the gas is made. I have the location. This is Barkov's chemical factory. Yes, I'm taking it down. We're still on the same side, Captain. All right, this. Then help us. Please, help my sister. Listen. Now we're just running for our fucking life because we just got... We're getting attacked by a helicopter. In this next scene, I'm going to combine the two two screens here and basically this is a classic scene from COD 4. Wait, 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 hold up. Why does this dude look like Noah J? Damn, hold you guys fire, man. Hold your fire. It's Captain Price. Hold it. Man, hold it. And for the boss fight, we go in and fight a fucking juggernaut. Like, a juggernaut. Like, literally. I do with heavy armor? Yes. Minigun? Yes. And to finish us off, we fight the final boss. And this dude looks really familiar. Alright, guys. Let's, let's finish this. We plant the charges on the pipes and blow it up. Charges hot! Fuck up, fucking out. Now, Nikolai, where are you? Я все равно сколько сейчас времени. В Москве мне связь быстро. Play again. Fuck off, you've wheeled up. Скажите им это генерал Марков. Меня не будут отдавать. Now it's time to actually finish this. You! 
here, Father. Still alive. Still killing rats. Is dead. Roger that. Alex, Sergeant Sutton. Affirmative, sir. Alex. I'm not getting out of here. Let's do this. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. All clear, Captain. Roger. All stations on my mark. Three, two, one. Mother Russia would approve. Where to? Orzekstan. Home. Tea? Yeah, well, I'm a long way from a proper pint. Russia disowned Barkov. Well, they didn't have much choice, did they? He's dead. You took a big bite out of that problem, John. For now. We're left unchecked. It won't be. General Shepard pulled the files you asked for. What exactly is this about? A task force. Mm -mm. We already have loose ends. Then I will tie them. I can fund assets, not outlaws. Enjoy the tea, then. Sakaya wants Barkov's throne. I almost buried him in Pripyat with Macmillan. That was the father. This is the son, Victor. Lovely family. They're big fans of Hatir's. Well, that would explain why he's still alive. They're gonna get him out. They give me what I need. Who's your crew? Sergeant Garrick. Kyle? They call him Gaz. He never said anything. John Octavish, SAS, sniper, demolitions, goes by soap. Why? It's classified. <laughs> there he is. Simon Riley. There's no picture. Never. Now the rest. That's neat to know. Unless we got a deal. What are you calling this task force? One four one. <laughs>
City's under evacuation. Alcatala's got complete control. This place was nice once, but well, it's not anymore. East and West rebuilt Verdansk after the Cold War. Aki hey, didn't like that cooperation. Now they've got armor, heavy weapons. Terrorists with tanks. Who's at the helm? Someone new. Nice hat. What's his name? We don't know, but he's got friends in high places. This is Russian intel. Where did we get this? My counterpart in Moscow. The CIA working with the FSB. Not the first time. Kamarov. Captain Price. Nikolai. Been a bad boy. From you, that's a compliment. Please. We're all friends here. I owed you for Beirut. Sergeant Kamarov is going to help conduct this operation. These new weapons give Alcatellas the power to turn acts of terror into acts of war. This is a problem for everyone. We're launching a multilateral force to hunt AQ's new leader and contain this threat while we still can. Okay, we're in. Start up your teams. Let's operate. Let's talk multiplayer, your FPS shooter. I played the hell out of multiplayer on Modern Warfare. I got that shit on PS4. Till skill based matchmaking kicked in and it kicked my ass. After grinding hours and hours, I got the master camo from Modern Warfare 2, which is the, the camo I'm using right now, which is the Maxis camo. And I grinded hours and hours for that. It took really a long time to get. And you can also use kill streaks and field upgrades that give you ammo or other field upgrades that give you dead signs to be really aggressive for a certain time. And the movement in Modern Warfare was really good. It feels like how it's going to be like in Modern Warfare 3, which it feels like they went to Modern Warfare, skipped the game where it's shitty movement, and third game is back to regular movement, which makes no sense to me. But Modern Warfare was that classic Call of Duty feel with realism. At first, Modern Warfare, when it first got released, when uh, other YouTubers got to play the game early on multiplayer, there was actually no mini map in the game. It was actually crazy. So the YouTubers um, got a lot of feedback from that, and they added the, the map back, obviously back in the game so it's kind of crazy how you know activision infinity ward actually had like actually had that in their mind like oh yeah let's remove this map we're gonna make this game so realism like Tar Tar tarkov and we're gonna make it so realistic that you don't have map or anything and there's just no hud and it just it looked like a hardcore like you were playing hardcore it was crazy other than the skill based matchmaking the games were pretty good for me and it felt pretty awesome and playing this on playstation 4 it was really new to me because i never owned a playstation console it was freaking awesome honestly i didn't like how they um engage with field upgrades in this game especially with dead silence stuff like that it just didn't make sense to me and a lot of stuff that marvel for did did do right uh there's slide canceling and the red dots in the mini map and it, it was pretty solid honestly it was a pretty solid game until you know skill wage matchmaking and a lot of cheaters and warzone it really ruined the experience for me in this game that's why i didn't play a lot of warzone at all because it really didn't invest me anything it just wasn't a thing that i wanted to play i played it here and there but i didn't play it that much the only thing i was grinding on my warfare was the mastery camo and that's the only thing i was going for then actually I, I got it and then i got the mastery camo and also in vanguard you can also inspect your weapon for badass thumbnails for your videos or your live streams. We had classic maps return to Modern Warfare, like Crash from Cod 4. We had Piccadilly, which was from the campaign. Rust from Modern Warfare 2. And what's a Modern Warfare game without shit? Man? I think that's it for multiplayer. Oh wait, I think I forgot one more thing. So let's talk Spec Ops. Spec Ops was a co-op experience which you could play with other friends, randoms, or you could play by yourself or with friends. But Spec Ops and Modern Warfare was probably my less favorite 
mode. This mode was so sweaty and like the enemies are just so beyond like like I'll like be playing this like spec ops by myself and I'll get one tapped by enemies. It's ridiculous. Spec ops is like a round based of enemies. You got 30 seconds to get as much whatever you want like ammo, grenades, or kill streaks, and then when the 30 seconds is up, you have more enemies that push you. But that's really how it goes. The other spec ops option was to do the spec ops missions and you actually you go in, you pick your you can get the weapon and pick your grenades and stuff like that. And this one I wasn't really a fan of. It was just as worse as Spec Ops Survival. It was like you against enemies versus objectives on the map and you had a certain time to debuse it and if, if you didn't do it in the time that was listed, you pretty much failed it. And it was really annoying because you go versus a juggernaut and it it's really unbalanced and you you died really fast in this game mode and it's just felt uneven and not fair at all in this playlist and i just i'm not a really a fan of spec ops in this game but other people may enjoy it but i really didn't enjoy it myself and it was really really difficult i wish there was uh options for difficulty i hope you guys really enjoy this youtube video this video probably took around like 15 hours to do and i try to finish in one sitting because i just wanted to get a double with and finish this video quick as possible and it was it was really fun making this i went through the campaign and went through multiplayer and now i'm done with spec ops and hopefully you guys really enjoy this video and you guys can comment below which call of duty you want me to review next and i enjoy doing all of them so i'm gonna do the model for series first because model for three is coming out in october or november somewhere around there but that's when i'll do a review on other games and yeah this was really fun to make hope you guys really enjoyed this and i love the call of duty campaigns and reviewing them and especially when they're really short it feels really nice to go back on the footage and just see how clean these edits are and go back and you know i made a lot of progress over this video and it took hours to make and hopefully it's worth it at the end of the day i thank you guys so much for watching today's video like the video hit that bell notification to never miss a video and subscribe to the channel we're almost at a thousand subscribers and i will see you guys next time peace out line between right and wrong and somewhere in the shadows. They send us in to find it. One, two, six actual. Target is in the main house. You have execute authority. Bravo six. Going dark.